Right, so here is the block diagram of uh, your damper and roll damper, which comprise over all the heading hold autopilot. And in this particular part, we're trying to design the washout filter, which is here, which in particular trying to choose this Powell value there. I'm just trying to choose the gain in this box here. So we're looking at this control loop here and we're going to try to get that number and that pole. It's interesting just to look at the performance of the your damper. So this is with the your damper in. If we now go on to running the simulation, we can look at the performance of the system. So that's the performance of the system there. And uh, the normal your damper. If we were to switch the your damper off by setting this parameter here to zero, we can then run it again and see the effect of not having the roll damper in. So this time we can see the performance of the system has got quite a bit of oscillation here on the your significant amounts of movement here and so they can see the benefit of having the your damper on the performance so there's definitely a benefit from having the your damper and what we're going to do is design the time the pole associated with the washout filter and the gain associated with the control system notice in this particular loop it's a negative gain as well rather than a positive gain because the transfer function around this way is negative. Hi, good afternoon. Today we're doing the design of a your damper. This is a fairly conventional design and it involves the design of what's called a washout filter and in the washout filter we have a parameter t that we're trying to find we've also got a control loop gain kr to find at the same time so we're going to use the angle and magnitude criteria to find t first and then kr and this part here is the transfer function of a typical flight control system where the input is the rudder delta r and the output is the your rate and in this transfer function this part here is representing the actuator this is representing the roll mode this is representing the spiral mode this is representing the dutch roll mode and the first things we have to do with this is to work out where the poles and zeros of this particular part of the transfer function are. So we have to solve now this one here to using the minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a and this one comes out as 0 0.05 plus or minus 0.44j so that's the two zeros positive zeros because that negative side and then this one has also got a couple of complex roots at minus 0.03 plus or minus 0.94j. So again, we'd have to work this one out using the formula minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. There's also a design requirement with this, which is you have to design t and kr so we can achieve a certain natural frequency and damping ratio. So these numbers now have to be put into our standard second order system equation s squared plus 2 zeta omega and s is omega squared so we're now going to get 
two twos are four, and four times 6.6 .6 gives us S squared plus 2.6 4S plus 4. So it's quite easy. 2 2 is a 4, and this part here is 2 times 2 times 0.66. So again, with this one now, we'll have to do another minus B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC. And this one gives us another root at minus 1.32 plus or minus 1.5j. So that's our first part of our analysis, really. We have to work out where this complex root is, where that one is, and given the design spec here, we then have to work out where this one is as well. Once we've done that, we can then proceed to our diagram and use angle criteria at first, to find t. So to do this, we're going to plot now the poles and zeros in the diagram. So we've got a pole at minus three, got a pole at point three, we've got a pole almost at the origin, and we've got a couple of poles at minus 0.03 plus 0.94. So we've got a couple of poles there and there. So there's our poles there's going to be and there's also another pole associated with the minus one of the t and we don't know where that is so we can put that somewhere down here as in fact it's just a minus t isn't it but we don't know where that is yet this is the unknown variable in the problem so t will be somewhere along here somewhere. We're going to find it using the angle criteria in a second. We've also got a zero at 0.6. So we've got a zero, say there, at minus 0.6. And we've got another couple of zeros, which are out here somewhere. So we've also got a final zero. Easy to miss this one out. Another zero at the origin. So remember we've got a pole and a zero at the origin here. So we've now mapped out our poles and zeros onto the diagram. And we now take our design spec, which is a natural frequency of two, down to nature of 0.66, gives us these parameters here. And we now point, plot the point minus 1.32 plus 1.5j in the diagram as well. So minus 1.32, we've got down here somewhere, 1.5, so that gives us this point here. That's our design point. So, once we've got that far, it is now a matter of applying the angle criteria to this problem. And so we have to work out now, draw straight